Hello my friend and welcome back. Today I want to do a card pull and see what the divine has to say for us today. Ooh. <laughs> so we pulled the Align Your Life card. Oh, you can't really read the words, but it says, align your life, what is not aligned or needs to change. So we are definitely in a, an era of mass transformation. I'm sorry, hold on one second. Um, and there are a lot of things in life that in our lives that are changing and not only externally, but internally. And it is up to us. We really need to use our discernment and our intuition and really let our intuition guide us on what things need to change in our lives and what is not aligned because, um, I've been reading, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Victor Otto, but I was reading some of his posts the other day and he has had like a really interesting perspective. He is saying that choices aren't exactly as clear cut as they used to be and there's not exactly a good choice and a bad choice. Like a lot of times we are choosing between two good things and they just are different and that is actually the way things are always are. Our choices in life, there is no good or bad choice. That is just our judgment to them. They are just different and they are different paths. And like I was talking about the other day, our path is not set in stone. So that stone gets laid with every step we take. We are creating our own paths and there are infinite amount of paths, therefore infinite amount of timelines, infinite amount of possibilities, and nothing is wrong because even if you were to make the wrong choice, you still learn and you grow through that choice. So was it really wrong? That's why it's really important to remove the judgment. And I think that we need to start looking at things that it, whether or not they serve us, you know, does this serve me? Would this serve me better? Would this allow me to serve others better? Is this going to allow me to raise my vibration and function at the highest level that I possibly can? Is this choice going to, you know, increase my light frequency is basically what I feel like the decision, the decision makers are is, you know, we are here to evolve, therefore to increase our frequency, to raise our vibration. These are all just different ways of saying the same thing, of evolving, of enlightenment. This is our journey. So you can start to think of things in that way. You know, what is best going to serve me on my journey of evolving and but we are faced with very human choices and you know things aren't cut and clear because you can you might be like working a job that you feel doesn't exactly serve you and you're like okay well this isn't exactly brightening my light does that mean it has to go and every single person needs to use their own discernment and own intuition to see what is right for them and what is going to be the most serving path for them. Getting up and quitting your job with no other path of income. Yes, our needs are always met, but sometimes those needs are met through, through it a 3D job and you know there might be lessons there that you need to learn so it might not exactly be like oh well I'm only gonna do what serves me and what makes me feel good like we have to remember that sometimes we need to learn lessons in life and and you know in order for us to grow so there is no like one there is no right answer and there is no 
I was about to say there's no easy way, but I'm getting, I'm getting the message that actually there is an easy way and it is tuning into your intuition. And, but we, you know, intuition is, a, is an ability like we were talking about the other day. So, you know, maybe instead of like, if you are feeling like you're asking your intuition and you're asking your guides and you're either not getting answers or the answers are not exactly as clear, Sometimes that is the way because the spirit world does communicate in a little bit of a different way that we maybe want. And so, for example, yesterday I was having a little bit of a hard day and, you know, you know, I really asked for help. And throughout the day, more frequently than I usually do, you know, I, I was seeing you know, the repeating numbers and different like synchronicities. And I very much felt, you know, that like my guidance was here and I was being heard, but it wasn't exactly like, you need help and here's the silver platter with the help that you asked for in the way that you asked for it. So now I have to ask myself like, was I not able to discern the messages that were being sent to me or was it just purely support like, hey, we're here for you? I, I still don't really know. You know, my intuitive abilities are developing and, you know, they're not perfect and it's not clear sometimes, you know? Sometimes I feel as though I get a very clear message and sometimes it's like a feather floating through the air and it's like, yes, I know, like, I see that, I see you, I see you, you know? But it's like, what does it mean? <laughs> and I know that it is all just part of the journey of, you know, developing my intuitive abilities. However, you know, sometimes like some clear, concise help would help. But although I did, I did get some clear, a clear message yesterday because it was actually a, a quote that I ended up seeing multiple times in a very short time frame. And the quote was, um, when you, I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something like when you are being called to evolve, you will be tested, don't break. And I feel, I feel that right now. But part of, I think, evolving has exactly to do with what this card is talking about. It is aligning my life, aligning your life, like aligning your life with the highest path, with the highest possible path, and with the path that you're of your soul's highest desire. And, you know, what is not aligned or needs to change? Sometimes I feel like, well, a lot needs to change. And then sometimes I'm like, well, I don't know. And then, you know, it, I just don't want to give the misconception that, you know, that it's clear for everyone because I know that it is not clear for a lot of people. But what I'm hearing from this Align Your Life that it is time now. We need to tune in and tap into our intuition to really, really, really discern of what is not aligned in our lives right now. Of what is not serving us right now. And we need to be able to have the courage to let those things go. Because that's the other part of it. Because you might be like, okay, well this, this, and this isn't aligned with my life. But what are you going to do, you know? Because then that next step is that human step of that we have so such a hard time with is that letting go. Is that actual change? Is that actual leap into something new? You know, I was talking about yesterday, like how I very much feel like the old and the new are, I'm in that overlap of the old and the new right now. And I very much need to be letting go of the old and letting the new flourish. But I really need to discern what is supposed to stay in my life and what is not. 
So I really feel as though this card is really calling me and if you are watching this video then this message is for you. It's really calling you to really go within, to get quiet and to really listen to that inner guidance, that inner gut feeling of knowing that what is and isn't aligned in your life and ask for help with the courage to move forward with letting go of all that which is not aligned. Let us let go of all that which is not aligned. Let us have the courage to do so and the courage to make that leap of faith. You know, because like, we don't know that when we take that step that our foot is going to land on that stone of our path. We just have to have the faith that it will. We just have to have the faith that everything is working out for our highest good. And we just have to have the faith that we are always divinely guided, divinely supported, and of course divinely loved. And that we are enough to make our dreams come true and to live the life that we were truly here to live. We are in a new world now. We need to really let go of those 3D aspects of survival mode you know the 3d if you want to think about like the three lower chakras all have to do with human needs those human aspects well we are now moving up into our heart chakra we are now moving up into a place where we can be divine creators of our life and we can create and live a life that we absolutely love and we can thrive. I think it's really important for us to give ourselves permission to thrive because I feel, I could only speak for myself, but I feel as though there is maybe fear of course, but also maybe guilt around thriving and that guilt really needs to be transmuted into enoughness, into worthiness. You are worthy. We are worthy just as we are. And our worthiness is not contingent on anything. It is not contingent on anything. We are fully worthy no matter what. And that is a really, really, really important I think that's a really important point in using your discernment to decide what isn't and is aligned in your life is to know that you're worthy of everything. You know, you may think like that you're not worthy of leading a life that you love, but I'm here to tell you that you are for sure. 100%. And I don't ever like to say things 100% because I feel like when I do, I'm always proved wrong. But I do want to say with 100%, every single one of us are whole, worthy, and complete, just as we are, because we are all aspects of the divine. On a very, very deep level, we all come from the same energy, okay? So therefore, if we're all cut from the divine cloth, how could we not be divine? And if we believe that the divine is whole, complete, and perfect, how could we not be whole, complete, and perfect? So we are, so let's one more time take on the reminder. Let's go within, let's see what doesn't align in our life, what is not here for our highest good and the highest good of all. And let's be brave and let's have the courage to move forward and to let go. And that is really what I feel our message is for today. And I think it is such a beautiful and perfectly timed message. And whenever you're watching this video, know that this is a perfectly timed message for you. And if you're seeing this video, then this message is for you. I want to thank you so much for tuning in. And my name is Anne, and I hope to see you soon, my friend.